Chapter 13 deals with supporting boxes, wiring methods, and so forth. So uh, this illustration uh, illustrates supporting boxes in accordance with NEC 314.23. Now in the illustration, we see a bracket that supports the box to the framing member. There are different ways of supporting these uh, boxes. This is just one method that is shown using a support clamp uh, that is uh, designed for such use in accordance with 314.23 biz and boy 2. Now, the framing member, uh, we can uh, read more about it and learn a little bit more about how the NEC requirements are for framing members by looking at 300.4 A as an apple through D as in dog. Uh, also, 314.23A is an apple through C is uh, in car. Now, as always, you know, we, we like to start with a note if we possibly can. Uh, and notice the note, it talks about uh, screw threads in the box should be permitted to avoid abrasion of conductor insulation. And this is where you might take, say, a, a nail. Uh, and you take uh, maybe a 16-penny nail, and you would just uh, drive it through the back of the box. And if that is the case, to support it like to a wooden stud, it would sit back uh, at the back of the box uh, so that uh, insulation uh, would not be damaged. Now notice we have 12-2 with ground cable coming into that box. And all we're showing here now is mainly the support uh, uh, means of the box. Now, the NEC loop, uh, if we want to learn about the surface of the box, where it would uh, sit back and you could put a half inch sheetrock, uh, uh, say, over it, the finishing material of the wall, uh, 314.23A as an apple. The structure uh, portion of it would be 314.23B as in boy. Non-structural means would be 314.23C. And then notice we do give you the uh, call out. Nails can be driven through holes and used as a support in accordance with 314.23B as one, uh, excuse me, B as in boy one. Now notice the NEC loop. We always recommend the NEC loop because you uh, read, the, read the loop uh, read the note, and if we have a figure loop, uh, also uh, look at that, you get a full knowledge, not just what may be a contractor or a foreman uh, tells the electrician. You is the electrician. You know more about the supporting of the box, what is legal and what is not legal. If you're out on the job by yourself with no one around to give you instructions, you have to know how to obtain these instructions and support the box in such a manner that the NEC uh, uh, will comply uh, and then the authority having jurisdiction does not turn the job down, uh, leaving a sour taste in your mouth. So uh, this illustration deals with supporting boxes in accordance with NEC 314.23.